And staff at Boston's hospitals have had an intense day, too. Of the 176 people wounded in the attack, 14 are still in critical condition, including a five-year-old boy. Doctors say they are continuing to pull fragments from the injured, including pieces of wood, concrete, and plastic. Still, Boston is a tough town, and as Jennifer Tryon reports, people there aren't prepared to give in to fear. Back in the Irish Catholic Boston suburb, where the eight-year-old victim Martin Richard was growing up, his home taped off, his family healing in hospital, there's a hunger. Well, I hope they catch them. I really do. Let them see what uh, justice is really like. To know that my new, that little boy will never come home again is is uh, it. It kept me up at night and it'll probably keep me up some more nights. It's been 48 hours since the explosions and the Boston Brotherhood is proving it's not too soon to stick together. <laughs> Heroes were born on the raceway. Carlos Arredondo literally holding Jeff Bowman's life in his hands, squeezing the arteries in his missing leg until he could get to the hospital. But now emerging across the city, more grassroots heroics to help restore Boston's faith in humanity. How much money did you raise? Uh, $567. The brainchild of these kids. A lemonade stand. May I have four, please? At 50 cents a cup. All profits going to help Martin Richard's family with mounting medical bills. And they let us keep the change. I don't think anyone like paid just 50 cents. One person gave us $20 for no lemonade at all. Oh, cheers. Small efforts reflecting a city trying to recover while still in the middle of a crisis. It'll never be the same again, you know? Not for Crystal Campbell's family, the second victim identified. We are heartbroken at the death of our daughter. Crystal Marie, she was a wonderful person. <laughs> and the third victim, Lou Leasing, a student at Boston University. Everybody's talking about her and couldn't find her in the hospital in any place in the campus. So that's it. I'm so sad. Yeah, I'm truly, it's truly a sad news. Hearts broken in her native China. Now her story gracing the front page of virtually every Chinese newspaper and television station. Another nation joining Boston in mourning and looking to investigators for answers and justice. And tomorrow, President Obama will be here in Boston for an interfaith service to remember the three victims and to pray for those who are still recovering. A little bit of help and a little bit of healing while this city waits for the big answers. Donna. All right, Jen Tryon in Boston. Thank you.